The following podcast is not real, but you know that. Enjoy the show. Hello from the Magic Tavern, a weekly podcast from the magical land of Foon. I'm your host, Arnie Niekamp. If you've never listened to the podcast before, this is what's going on. About two years and three or four, I've lost track, five? Has it been two, five years yet? How long have I been here? 28 years. What? No, it just feels like that. Oh, okay. It's been... It's two been, years and some change. Two years and some change. That's fair. Anyway, I fell through a dimensional portal behind a Burger King in Chicago into the magical, fantastical land of Foon. Unfortunately, it's being taken over by the Dark Lord, who's imprisoned me and my co-hosts, and are forcing us to continue to do this podcast here in the tavern, the Vermilion Minotaur, in the town of Hog's Face, in the land of Foon. And I'm joined, as always, by my co-host and co-captive, and also one of the guards, you're so many things, Chunt the Talking Badger. Oh yeah, baby, I'm a man of many hats, as we learned. That's true, you have so many many hats hats, on top of hats. hats. Oh, did I tell you last night, I had a nightmare. Do you not have nightmares very often? Uh, they're a pretty rare breed, but every once in a while, you know, if you're out in the wild, you can kind of uh, chase one down or catch it by surprise and ride it. Oh, I must have misunderstood what you meant. Huh? You, oh, you had a nightmare? A nightmare. Uh Uh-huh. The horse of darkness. A nightmare? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did oh, I didn't sleep with it. No, no. Oh, I just like, okay. I caught one. Oh. And I rode around town for a little bit, and then I let it go. Wow. But it's very scary. I, it sounds scary. Yeah. Oh, it gave me nightmares. <laughs> Wait, or, like, what? Like, it was pregnant, and it gave birth. Oh. And I kept him. It gave me nightmares. Uh, oh, oh, I see. What did you think I was saying? I don't know. Are you worried now that you had a nightmare last night, that tonight you're going to have another nightmare? No, I think, I mean, well, I have that litter of nightmares, but oh. Oh, I got to tell you, it's been giving me the worst dreams. Oh. And Arnie failed to introduce him, but here's our other co-host, Usador. Oh, that's right. I am Usador, wizard of the 12th realm of Ephesius, master of light and shadow, manipulator of magical delights, devourer of chaos, champion of the great halls of Tarakas. The elves know me as Fianyak, the Clients. dwarves know me as Zonin and Hookstanges, and I am known in the northeast as Gasmanius Mace. World star. And there may be many other secret names that you do not know yet. You see, I got to ask you, I was, yes. telling, I was telling Arndog, I have well, a, I hold have a on. Friend, no, 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 no. What? Don't call me Iron Dog. I'm just trying it out. Mm-hmm. Why not? I'm just trying out something new. Iron Dog. Yeah. It's kind of like Corn Dog, but Iron Dog. How about A Train? No. Yes, A Train. First of all, what does that even mean to you? It, We're in a magical land. There are no trains. What does that mean to you? That means when you take someone and you teach them how to do something. Oh. What the fuck do you think it means? Okay. It's basically what we do with you all the time. Train you. Yeah. That's I was fair. you see, I was telling A Train. Mm-hmm. I got this litter of nightmares, and I, I don't know what to do with them. Should I raise them up? Should I set them loose? What should I do? Well, you know, the best way to deal with nightmares is to just drink a warm glass of milk. Yeah. And then they tend to just run away. Okay, I'll do because that. Because of your milk farts. Oh, milk farts are the worst. Have you? Are you at least feeding these nightmares? I'm sure they need nightmare fuel. Oh, yeah. Well, my friend, I don't know if I told you about the other guard, uh, Cockroach Clown. He provides oh. them nightmare fuel. Oh, yeah. I would imagine so. Yeah. Him and Will Bear. Yeah. We, I want to know more about Wheel Bear. Uh, like I told you, he's a bear, but instead of legs, he has four wheels. I mean, the bad thing about him what is else there? What else is there to know? <laughs> the bad thing about what him? What is he like? What does he do? Is he married? Yeah, I bet he's pissed off. Does he get pissed off where people are like, guys, how they're, diminutive? Uh, yeah, I'm not, just, I'm not just a bear with four wheels. But isn't he? I mean, when you describe someone like that, that guy sitting at the table over there, would you say like, oh, that guy over there, he's the one who loves feeding ducks. He has an interest in philosophy and he uh, has a two story house. No, you say that's the fucking bald guy over there, right? Yeah, we define people by their physique, by their looks. We yeah. define people like that. And the like fact that. that he's actively having sex right now. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't define him. Also, guys, can we talk to somebody to kick out the fucking bald guy? He's just constantly <laughs> over there. And look, I have no problem with the fact that he's bald. Wait, you mean the Feeding Ducks philosophy guy? Yeah, but look, he's the fucking bald guy. How about this? Or has, we can call him the, fuck a lot. the fucking philosophy guy. Yeah. Either way, he's going to keep fucking. But Will Bear, I mean, he's pretty gentle. The bad thing about him is that as a guard, all somebody has to do is give him a push, and oh yeah, you just don't see him anymore. 
until he loses momentum. So yeah, he has his ups and his downs. But I will say for a bear, he's pretty affable. Like he's very he's very generous. Uh, he get you know we're we're just kind of forming a little a little club. You know we're we're all getting along. I never thought of that before. He's not able to create his own energy for locomotion. Yeah, he's not brake spare, you know, he's he's wheel bear, you know. Oh, that's sad. What if I was just on wheels? Hmm. Then you'd be cool as hell. Let's I'd, get you some wheels. I'd wanna I'd wanna be able to control them though. I wouldn't want to just be able to be pushed around on wheels. So we'll we'll implement some sort of braking device. Maybe like a pedal or something. Oh yeah, a pe- brake and a pedal and then and some some sort of engine that would drive me forward. Hmm, maybe if we put enough steam in a canister of metal. Oh, and then I could get some cool looking goggles. Oh yeah. Yes. That would be wonderful. Guys, don't fucking invent science. Oh, no, this is a whole... Uh, I, I'm inventing a new costume. I think we just invented fun. Look, you know what What we should do, which would be fun? Let's catch up with one of our old friends. I'm very excited for our guest to have back on the show. Flower, the talking flower! What's up, bitches? Hey, hey I don't hey, appreciate fun. that, but hey, it's good to see you. It's Welcome nice back, you Flower. Too. Thank you. I've actually been away. Mm-hmm. Took some time for myself and went on vacation. Vicky. That's good, that's good. It's important to take time for oneself, to reinvest in thine own health and well-being and mental state, and how are you feeling now? I feel great. I took like a solid couple weeks down to Dawson's Creek. What's Dawson's Creek? It's this beautiful place. It's just like, it's a lot of young people there. They like dealing with a lot of problems, but it just was nice to be there and to just take it all in and just hang out. It's like there's Dawson's Creek, but right next to it is the James Vander Creek. <laughs> the what's the James stuff? Vander Creek. Oh, the James Vander Creek. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I find myself, I often get bored when I'm in Dawson's Creek, and I'm just walking back and forth and back and forth. I get a little pacey when I'm down there. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I've heard, and this is, a hor- maybe this is just a horrible rumor, I heard a lot of people throw themselves into Dawson's Creek to drown themselves because they don't want to wait for their lives to be over. Full yeah. disclosure, that's why I went there initially, but then mm. I just fell in love with the place. Well, that's good. I was charming. I was fine. It was yeah. good. Met some people. Last time I was there, I was very disappointed that Felicity had cut her hair. <laughs> Who? Felicity. She cut all her hair off. I thought she looked nice with long hair. Well, I'm going to go grab a drink. I feel like I don't have much to contribute to this. <laughs> So yeah, I'm back. I mean, it was fine. It was great. What's going on with you guys? What's up? Well, not much. But you know, Flower, I'm just curious to hear how you're holding up now that the Dark Lord has taken over most of Foon, and including imprisoning Hogsface and turning it into a prison city. The fuck you said? The Dark Lord has... The Dark Lord attacked and imprisoned all of us in Hogsface. That's not funny. No, it's just no, not it funny. No, it is not. It's certainly not as funny as everything from season one. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, so you guys, you're in prison right now. You're in a prison right now. (laughs) (laughs) To be fair, Arnold and Chunt. Holy shit. Chunt isn't in a prison at all anymore. He's undercover as a guard. And Arnold gets free reign of the whole place. I'm the only one truly still in a prison. Though I play the part of a weak, tired old man. They were giving me a magic reducing potion. But now I don't drink it and my powers have returned. But I must pretend to be weak still whenever there is evil afoot. Here's a round of drinks for everybody. And Arnie, for you, I got you a four loco. A what? A four loco? What's that? Mm. Sounds terrible. It was in some <laughs> holding cell that the Dark Lord has where he just has these items. I thought it was maybe something from Earth that you might want to do. Oh, drink. what? This can does look like it's from Earth. Okay. It oh. says for loco. Earth is so tacky. Yeah. I thought maybe you found it in your car or something. I wouldn't have this in my car. Can we go back for a second and address the fact that all of Foon is taken over by the Dark Lord? Not all of Foon, but a large portion of Foon, and definitely all of Hogsface. The town here is basically a prison camp. But there is a resistance going on. Wait, did you really yeah, not know not. any of this? No! How How is that possible? How do you not know this stuff? I was in Dawson's Creek. Dawson's Creek is still free. (gasps) What a wonderful thing to learn. We need to get there. I don't think anybody thinks about it anymore, and so it's just there. It's easy to forget about. We need to go back. We need to rerun there, and 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 get in on that freedom. Yeah, for the tree assistance. Uh, You can never go homes again. I shouldn't have come back. No, 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 fire, 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 fire. No, 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 no. I just is. Oh, shit. 
shit. Oh, God. Well, if you got in, you might be able to get out still. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't right, think cool. anybody's I'll looking see for you a plant guys life. Later. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 flower. What? You've got to stay here and, and help us fight the Dark Lord. Fuck that. That dude's scary as shit. She's got a point. Yeah, he is scary as shit. I saw him one time. I swear to God, it was him. I like why well, I was just on the street, hanging out, just soaking up some sunshine. This dude walked by and he was just like, so. And I was like, don't talk to me like that. Mm-hmm. I swear to God, it was Dark Lord. Wait, you just so, sounds, sounds it was like a Dark him. Lord? Oh, really? Definitely. Yeah, you said like, don't talk to me like that and lived? Yeah. I don't think that could have been. Was it the Dark Lord? Maybe. I mean, the way he said sup was like really demeaning, but also like patronizing and also like a little bit like just just like it was like so much dick. And I just was like, wait, wait, hold on. Are you sure it wasn't fucking bald guy? Oh, that guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was actually, it was that, that guy. That guy. It was that uh, guy. I gotta get him out Shit, of here. man. Is he still fucking? He's still He's fucking. He's always fucking. Always fucking. Well, I'm sorry. This sucks. Um, can I, I don't know if like, I can just get, like, because clearly if I came in and out, maybe I can just. Yeah, maybe you could show us how you snuck in. Maybe we can sneak people out of town. I mean, granted, when I move, it takes, like, a really long time. Yeah. Because I just, I can travel, but just not very fast. Same like, for Arnie. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's you guys true. have about the same track yeah. record. That's true. So, I mean, like, if you, I can try to relay what's happening somewhere else if you need that. Or, like, if that guy was the dude that was rude to me, maybe the Dark Lord is not so bad. No, he's evil. He's evil. Through and through. But we're sure about that? Absolutely. For I've spent many a decade, I, nay, many a century preparing to defeat him and fight him. For he is not but darkness and evil and wrongdoing, and if we allow him to take over all of Foon, then surely all the men and women and children of this land are doomed. I, be they human or elf or dwarf or flower, all shall suffer under his reign. I guess so, like, if it hasn't really affected me up until now, like, it doesn't really affect me now, so, I mean, I'm just cruising. I, I, I mean, that seems like a horrible attitude to have, but I gotta say, like, it makes me a little jealous, like... I wish I could go back to a time when I wasn't, like, from the morning I woke up to this moment I won't go back to sleep thinking about the Dark Lord, thinking about, oh, shit, oh, my God, I can't believe how terrible things are now that the Dark Lord has taken over all of Foon. Yeah, if you just check out for a minute and you just, like, don't even make that a part of your reality, then it's like, we cool, what's for breakfast, you know? Yeah, yeah what is for breakfast? What's for breakfast, Arnold? <laughs> what? Wait, am I in charge of breakfast? Yes. Have I been in charge of breakfast this whole time? Yes, for two years and yeah. four or five months. Guys, I've never made breakfast since I've been here. We no, know. Yes, we know. I don't know. What do you What do you want for breakfast? Ooh. Mm, ooh. ooh Dealy's Finally, choice. here we go. Here we go. Um, hmm. Hmm. No hmm. answers, just a wait. <laughs> it's it's a, a hard question. Yes. Uh, it's a very Let's hard Make sure I get the right thing. What do you want for breakfast? Uh, uh, do you want me to throw out some bread? No, 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 no. Uh, I want bacon. I, okay, I, I think I'm ready to order. Uh, is that is okay? If no, I go please, yes, order? please. Yeah, by the time you're done, I think I'll know what I want. Okay, here's what I want. I want a waffle mm-hmm. with a steak on top of it. Waffle with a steak on top, and then on top of that steak, I want hollandaise sauce. Okay, Ooh. and then on top of that, I would like. Another waffle. Mm-hmm. On top of that waffle, I would like a roast turkey. Okay. Just to clarify, hollandaise sauce is the one that's made from shoes? Correct. Okay. Two waffles, steak, chicken, and some holiday sauce. All right. I got it. Did he say holiday he sauce? Said holiday he said holiday sauce. sauce. He's going to uh, fuck it up. This is going to be terrible. You're going to you're gonna to send it back. I don't need to write this down. I got it all Could up Could you here. please write it down? Please no, no, please. Write it down. No. Can we get some waters as well? Waters? Wait, have I been in charge of getting water this whole time? Yes. yes. We are so dehydrated. I'm so sorry that for two years you've been waiting on me to bring you water. I'm horrifically I dehydrated. I didn't know. Wait, I'm so sorry. No, I didn't hey, know. Wait, Arnie, is this my section? Yes, is this, this is this your section, section the whole time. Oh Listen, my hey, honestly... I spent all the time sitting at this table. Just know that when you leave, your tip will reflect what you know your service. So don't expect twenty percent. I have to say, the first time Chunt and I came in here and sat down at the table, 
and you came over to take our order and started doing a podcast, we were shocked. But we got used to it. And then we thought, eventually, he's going to bring us something. Yeah, and you were very charming, and you're very nice, and you talked well, a lot about yourself, and we're just like, eventually, we'll get, you know, some menus, or eventually, you know, but nothing so far. So, patiently, we've waited for two years and some change. I'm so sorry. Can I take the rest of your orders now? <laughs> Do you know what you want to order? No, you go ahead. Do you okay. know what you want? Um, could you take, do you have, like, a donut that you could cut in half, and then, like, make a French toast? With the donut, and then but then also be smoking a cigarette the whole time and blow it on it. I don't really smoke, but well, that's anymore. what I want. Okay, so make a donut, cut it in half, make, make a French a toast, but and like, then blow a smoke on it. But could you you should make the donut first? Okay, because it's time to make the donuts. It's time, it's time to make the donuts. Right now it is time. time to make the donuts. <laughs> yes, if not now, when? Yes. It's far past time to make the donuts. Okay. You're late on that Great. too. And Chunt, what was your order? A water. Mm -hmm. And then I w also want a donut, but I want you to get creative with it. So okay. I, I want some sort of creative donut or like a cronut. A cronut. What's a cronut? It's a creative donut. Creative donut. Oh, I okay. just said it. I'm so sorry. Okay, great. Can so, repeat that back to us? Okay. So, a creative donut for you. And? And get creative with no, it. No, and a water. In a water. And uh, flour, yeah. you want some French toast with a donut cut in half mm. and blowing okay, smoke out of its ass. the way you just ass. said that, it's like What's you're going to give me French toast with a donut. I don't want two separate things. I want French toast made from a donut. Okay, a donut Frenching a toast. That's right. And you, Sidor, yes. you wanted steak on top of a chicken, on top of a, another steak with some hollandaise sauce, and also you wanted to feed the Dark Lord. Close enough. Close Actually, enough. I'm so sorry to, yeah. to change my order. Is it too early for lunch? Yes. Let's say yes. yes. Okay, well, then I want to change my order. Oh, you want, <laughs> then you do want to change your mm -hmm. order. Yeah. If it was lunchtime, he'd still want that same breakfast. Hmm. Uh, I want a grapefruit cut in half. Okay. Okay, I want you to keep the best half. Okay. And I want you to put some uh, salt on it. Okay. And then I want um, eight pieces of toast. Yes. Whole grain. I, I Look, here's the thing about the, the half of the, the fruit. The grapefruit? The grapefruit. I'm... I, I've clearly Can I speak to your manager, please? I don't know who my manager is. What? I'm sorry. And also, like, I haven't been able to find my own better half in a long time. Look, you know what, guys? I've got this. Fruit in half. Grapes. I'm Donut. Not, toast. Not, smoking. Yeah. yeah. Dark Lord. Chicken. Meat. On top. Mm-hmm. I've got it all. And some of you want water. Can we get some extra butter, too? Can you Fuck. can you split checks? Ooh, hey there, good looking. It's Chunt letting you know you can check out all of our bonus material, including my personal favorite offices and bosses, over at patreon.com slash magic tavern. Bye bye. And we're back, and we still don't have any breakfast. It's typical for this place, I'll be honest with you. I don't know why I keep coming back here. It's like yeah. service, always shitty. Food, always shitty. People, always shitty. Honestly, probably bald fucking guy. That's why I come back. I said I hated him, but I meant the opposite. Hey, can I pull you guys on something? Sure. Yeah. I've been wanting to come up with, you know, Arnie can't remember that I'm a shapeshifter. He always calls me a badger. Right. So I thought to maybe come up with a word that's maybe more palatable, like it's easier to remember, it's easier for Arnie to, to, you know, remember it. And I was thinking, you know, usually, for the most part, I'm an animal, mm -hmm. and I'm also doing a lot of morphing. So I thought there was some way where I could combine parts of those two words to create some sort of new word. Morphimal. That, morphimal, that's it. Does anybody know how to make chicken? How to make chicken? He doesn't even know they're an animal. You get two chickens to fuck. That's upsetting. You should know where your food comes from. Oh, yeah. You want it farm to table. Yeah, like roots to mouth. That's how I eat. Good thing Arnie isn't here because he'd make some sort of ass-to-ass -ass joke. Does anybody know how to cut a donut in half? My God. Who is he yelling to? He doesn't even know who his manager is. He's just cupping his hands and yelling out the back door. He's literally asking everyone in town. Well, I'll figure it out eventually. Does anybody walking by on the street... 
know how to get creative with a donut. Guys, uh, that's going to lead to a lot of problems. That fucking guy just started walking no, over he's, him. He's walking over on him. He's walking over. No! 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 That you. is creative. Oh, he put it right in the... Oh, that makes sense. No, that's not that creative philosophy guy. I'm still going to serve this. Oh, I oh, hope it's don't. mine. I hope it's mine. Oh, no, Flower wants it. Flower wants it. Yeah, I want it. I feel like we should take, you know... Uh, obviously, we each have these little cones in front of us so we can Yelp our, our review. Do we want to speak through our cones and leave a Yelp review? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. I've enjoyed coming to the Vermilion Minotaur for these past few years. And I must admit that I've never seen service so poor as I have received in the last two and a half years. I would prefer that they got back to using the boy who was annoying, but at least brought you the things you wanted. Also, salad dressing is not really my favorite thing, but their salad dressing is really good. Also, strawberries. Sometimes they have them when they're in season. I love strawberries. I like eating them. I hope they have more strawberries in the spring. They also have very clean bathrooms. That's mine. How many stars? Out of how many? Uh, however many stars there are in the nighttime sky. A zillion. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, mine's in all caps. Fuck this place. I want to die when I'm here. I keep coming back. Everything tastes like asshole. I give it negative one assholes. Okay, yeah, some star rating, some asshole rating. Uh, my review would be... Two and a half stars, would be four, but had to wait two years and some change for my breakfast. Waiter was terrible, uh, parentheses, name was Arnie. Um, although, I will say, that was creative, what that man did with the donut. Dick That Donut was very creative. Dick That Donut. Dick That Donut. It seemed a bit obvious to me. To Dick That Donut? That, yeah. dude, that dude, from the look in his eye, from where go, I knew he was into Dunkin' Donuts. Like, he liked to dunk. He liked to dip. Of course. And he's cool a lot of the time. But uh, but right then, he he was just doing the most obvious thing of putting his round peg into a round hole. You wish, taking that donut. You wish he did something crueler? <laughs> do you like a nasty use of donut? I, well, well, I'm not talking about myself right now. I'm just saying, like, you know, they're the easier way to make donut holes. Does anyone know how to make two waters into three waters? Oh. Um, Gosh. Oh, poor Sarah. Poor, poor Sarah. Well, I'm sorry that I don't know what the fuck is going on and that I also don't really care. Does that make me a bad flower? <sighs> no, no. Oh, finally. Hey, sorry, guys. Hey, I'm a little behind today. Can I take your orders? Oh, we, you uh, took our orders. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, use it our flower, chunt. Uh, I'm sorry. Your stuff is cooking. I doubt it. My stuff is cooking. I asked for a donut and water. But well, here's the thing, you guys. Why should today be any different from any other day? You haven't received breakfast any other day. Look, why don't you just sit here with us and let's just do the podcast? Yeah, let's start the podcast. No, no, we're well into the podcast. Wait, we've been recording this? Yeah. Oh, I am so sorry, listeners. But at least we got some Yelp reviews. Yeah. Have we told you about Yelp reviews? It's when you just kind of scream a little review into this little uh, this little horn here. That's why you guys have been carrying those horns around all this time? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yep. Just scream a little review that no one cares to read. <laughs> I scream reviews at people I meet all the time. And I tell a lot of service industry people, like, hey, just so you know, I hold up my horn and it's like, don't mess with me, because I'm a Yelp reviewer. You know, like, I'll ruin you. I'll, this business will shut down. Makes I, me feel real powerful, even yeah. though I'm a piece of shit. I, even, even though. I like to doing it to people for things that I know they can't change about themselves. Oh. So I'm just like, your face is too small for your face. Oh, no. Well, Flower, thank you so much for stopping by. And I don't know what to tell you. Like, I guess I, I feel bad to have to let you know that things are much worse in Hog's face than you realized. Well, I guess, like I said before, it didn't really affect me before. It doesn't really affect me now. I mean, yeah, sucks for you guys. Yeah, and thank you for coming with the Vermilion Minotaur. I, thought, I hope you had a great stay, and if you mm -hmm. had a positive experience, I hope you would share that in your Yelp review. I will be sharing nothing. Oh, well, all right. Fair enough. Because nothing came to the table. Yeah. Well... I did have a donut, but fucking bald guy put his long john in it. Yeah. John, do you got any That's emails? That's his name, John. <laughs> oh, his name is John. 
Yeah, I have an email here. This is titled Book Club Suggestions. Hi there, Arnie Chun Usador. This is uh, Hallie from Portland. A while back, I sent you a copy of the Kubler-Ross classic during Chun's terminal illness. Oh, yeah. Remember when I almost died? That's right. (laughs) Usador, did you ever get a chance to read that book? Uh, yes. Here are some Earth stories about resisting oppressive political regimes for your book club. She suggests uh, V for Vendetta by Alan Moore, mm-hmm. 1984 by George Orwell, the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, and the Anarchist Cookbook by William Powell. Thanks, Hallie. Yeah. Do you know any of those books? Or have you re- read any of those? Uh, you know, I think I've read about half of those books. Well, tell us the good half, just like the grapefruit that I'm waiting on. Uh, the better half? Um, I would say like the middle of 1984 and like most of the Harry Potter series. You're picking parts of books? So the middle of 1984, would that be like 942? Mm-hmm. I prefer to listen to my books instead of reading them. Oh, really? How do you listen to them? I just bang them on the ground. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Uh, I also have, uh, it's time for another Bangin' Buds segment. I have oh, a Bangin' Buds that's right. uh, one here. Uh, <sighs> this is from Patrick Landry, uh, and here is his uh, Bangin' Buds submission. Arnie couldn't know. That's what made it special. It was a secret. Their secret. Their special time during those rare instances when Arnie was away from his precious laptop. They only had a moment, but a moment was all they needed. Usador would cast a knowing look at Chunt, and oh, how that look excited the changeling. In an instant, they were pounding on the table, shoveling the sweet forbidden treasure into their mouths, moaning in ecstasy, and they would cast a deep gaze into each other's eyes and lean in close to say, I'm Usador, and I'm Chunt, and we're getting nuts. So we were eating nuts. That's you're what eating we were eating sh- nuts, yeah. That's oh, what that was a good one. Yeah, yeah each other's I liked nuts. It. Hey, you know what? I also have an email here. Uh, things to shout. We also ask people to send us things to shout because we're not sure if we should replace Boys Night and uh, Boys Year. Hey, gang, if you're looking for things to shout, I want to remind you of something that came up in one of the first episodes of the podcast. Youngstain, the elvish word for fuck it. Given recent events in the village, something that evokes rebellion and free speech seems warranted. Appropriating an elvish word may seem less inclusive, but I think that it presents a rallying cry that all of Hogsface could get behind. The Dark Lord has conquered Hogsface and is slowly crushing the spirits of his denizens, Youngstain. You're imprisoned and forced to do his bidding, Youngstain. One of your friends is going to put you in solitary confinement, Youngstain. Corey the Cunning, linguist at large. Oh, he's a cunning linguist. Hmm. I thought we had already landed on... That one seems very popular on Twitter. Yeah, uh, Youngstain. I, if, yeah, Youngstain. Youngstain. Also, I'd say that as a whole, Foon is really above an oven. That's true. Guys, we have a lot of expressions that we could consider doing. Very yeah, true. Dig into the well. Yeah. I also feel like we're talking about the, the origin of Youngstain or how to spell it. I feel like more people should say, you know, maybe their age after they introduce themselves. Like, hi, I'm Tim, old. Or, hi, I'm Matt, young. Like, you just kind of say yeah. what your, you know, your age is. That's yeah, I don't know. That sounds to. weird to say Matt, young. It just sounds... Well, I just would appreciate it. a weird it. combination. Because sometimes I can't tell how old somebody is. Like, Wheelbear, that guy could be 4,000. He could be two. Two? What am I, a bear expert? So a lot of wear and tear on those wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You ever He's an older to, bear. You ever asked Crom about him? No, Crom. Never even thought to do that. I wonder if you ever fingered him. Guys, I mean, it'd be hard him. probably to finger a wheel bear. You just roll away. It'd be really hard. You need some kind of resistance, right? You got to put him at the base of a hill. Yeah, or put those little blocks behind Man. his wheels. Young stain, motherfuckers. Young stain, Young exactly. Stain. Young stain. It's growing on me. Thirty-five minutes quickly gone. The basic rules of narrative pooped upon. On their breakfast, our friends never snacked. Because none of this happened, and that's a fact. Use It or the Blue was played by Matt Young. I mean, they shoehorned his name into the episode. They said his name. What more do you need to believe me, a leaked Comey memo? Chunt the Guard was played by Adol Rafai. Flower the Talking Flower was played by special guest Brooke Bright. Part of the recent parade of greatest hits until a new crop of voice talent moves to Chicago to start level one at I.O. Or Kate Blanchett returns our call. Brooke performs all over Chicago, including with World News Tonight at the I.O. Theater. Hello from the Magic 
Magic Tavern is produced by Arnie Niekamp and Ryan DeGiorgi. And from what I heard, this week they had it pretty much handled. But then Evan Jakover threw one of his trademark tantrums, a real Joan Crawford holiday spectacular. So now he's listed as a producer this week too. I'm not trying to drive a wedge between our production team. I'm just repeating what I heard and what everyone thinks. This episode edited by Chris Rathchen. Yes, Craig, you've been gesticulating wildly for, without hyperbole, 500 million years. What is it? I wasn't gesticulating. There's a bug in here. Uh, I was just going to say, music by Andy Poland, logo by Allard LeBon, additional audio effects by Jason Knox, production assistance by Garrett Schultz. Uh, I guess the only other thing is to leave us iTunes reviews. It really helps the show a lot. Go to iTunes, give us a review with as many stars as you feel is appropriate. It's five. And, uh, you know, help out the show. And hey, maybe actually the other thing is you could, uh, I don't know, everyone seems to get fan art. Maybe you could do some fan art of me, huh? Some Craig fan art? That'd be fun, right? Um, can't really show you what I look like. I could explain it, but lately every time I look in a mirror, I get blinded by a bright red light, and then I have to go lie down. So just use your imagination. Um, beyond that, just visit us at hellofromthemagictavern.com or on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks to the Chicago Podcast Co-op, and thanks to Earwolf. Stop. Hey, thank you for listening to Hello from the Magic Tavern. A great way to support the podcast is to join our Patreon. You'll get ad-free versions of our entire back catalog, including all the Magic Tavern spin-offs like Offices and Bosses, I Am Spin, Tax, Shadow, Sit, there are a lot of them. There are two new exclusive bonus episodes every month, Discord, all kinds of stuff. To get more information, go to patreon.com slash magic tavern. That's patreon.com slash magic tavern.